Hello and welcome to this uh, video tutorial. My name is David Thorne. Um, potentially I just want to show you how to update um, your PHP um, 5.3 or lower to uh, PHP 5.4 on CentOS um, or RHEL running 6.3. Um, okay so it's really really simple actually and it doesn't take very long at all you just need to go to www.webtatic.com forward slash packages forward slash php54 forward slash alternatively you can actually use google and i found the quickest way to to do it would then just be uh, 5.4 update or something like that and you see here this php 5.4 on centos rail 6.3 via yum da -da 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 and so on so just come to that link and then you uh, get this one page and it's very very simple instructions of how to do it all we've got to do is copy this one link come to then uh, the terminal and uh, we have to basically install the uh, the, the uh, repository from webtatic first of all and once we do that then we can actually install PHP 5.4 so let's go ahead and do this first of all and let's just paste that in there let's download and install um, that okay that's all done now uh, we can check that this is actually uh, been installed then just by running the command of then web tactic and it just takes a second and th there we can see webtatic dot um, release 62 dot noarch and so on so we know that it's installed okay first of all just to show you that uh, PHP is still running we will need to uh, remove this one version of PHP uh, prior to us installing the newest version otherwise there's going to be some conflicts between the two of them so let's go ahead and remove um, PHP first of all and all of the dependencies to go with it because we're then going to install the new dependencies later okay so we just run uh, remove uh, PHP and we're just going to stick an asterisk uh, by it just to remove everything else okay and it's, this is just a, a virtual machine so I don't actually have that many um, dependencies or packages installed on it but it will run the same on your other machine I did the same command on my other machine which I use as a live web server and so on okay so that's PHP now uh, removed now what we want to do is go ahead and install uh, PHP 5.4 now if we just do yum install PHP it's going to go ahead and download um, PHP 5.3 once again oh, well that's not what what we want um, because uh, the CentOS repositories haven't yet got PHP 5.4 um, as the main download as such we need to actually say yum install PHP 5.4 and then W okay and then just go ahead and that's going to go find um, that one package and the dependencies which are required okay so we just press yes to download or type Y to download and then press enter and it won't take very long okay once that is downloaded yes of course you could then um, install the likes of the MySQL package and stuff you will need to explicitly say PHP 54W dash mysql and so on but i'll run the command now for you to see okay so we can see that php is running perfectly fine so let's just run the php dash v once again and there we go php 5.4.12 all good so um installing then uh, mysql package or a package so we just need to say p uh, yum install and then php 54w dash okay rather than previously we just put php dash and then mysql php dash and something else whatever so uh, we then just can say mysql and it will go off and it will collect the dependencies and so on very very simple just as before that's it as simple as that All right um, don't forget though that your php um, isn't going to work effectively until you've actually restarted um, your web server okay so we just say service http restart and it's going to stop it perfectly fine and then it's stopping it it's stopping it and here we go so this has then IP address of 10.10.10.30 and we can see here I've got um, the, the page already showing that we've got version 5.4.12 so that's it very very simple PHP um, 5.4 is now installed. Now you can benefit from the likes of the, the built-in PHP web server and a whole bunch of other things. My name is David Thorne. Thank you very much for watching. It was a short, sharp, quick introduction of how to do this. Um, once you're done, then enjoy PHP 5.4. Just remember, though, is that always check um, that your websites and stuff 
the code which you've written already is compatible with the newest update so do a, a quick check beforehand that it all works don't just go ahead and update your PHP straight away off the bat um, without doing the check first okay um, that's it alright thank you very much bye bye then